But one of the things that you must come across all the time, and it'd be interesting to see how you explain this to clients, mm. how does mm. pushing a button mean that I can understand what your personality is? Because mm. it just feels so different from what we're used to, which is if you want to understand about me, Robert, then you need to ask me, Robert, mm. about how I do things, because I'm surely the best person to tell mm. anybody about what I'm good at mm. and uh, how I might behave. And so this whole idea that you could be pressing buttons and mm. really learn about me, mm -hmm. how does that work? Yeah, well, that's a really good question. And it is one that is asked by prospects. Um, you know, you get asked it a lot. We get asked it a lot even by customers that are already on board with us. Um, so maybe I'll just explain from my perspective, you know, sure. how task-based assessments work and then bring it to life with, mm -hmm. what, with um, through one of our actual tasks. So um, a task-based assessment is working um, through the fact that someone is interacting with these very short tasks. And what we're doing at Arctic Shores, and I don't want to give away our secrets, um, but what we're doing is basically trying to understand those data points. So we gather about 12,000 data points from candidates in the way each individual candidate, this isn't multiple candidates, right. um, in the way that they actually interact with the task itself. So that is, you know, how do they click? Um, you know, how are they clicking the buttons? Do they pause? when they get some negative feedback about the way that they've interacted with the task? Do they take quite a long time in um, relation to other people to, to read some part of the task um, or make some different type of response? All of that type of information, our, our data, those 12,000 data points, they feed into our scoring keys on that particular task. And then those scoring keys are validated in the way that you would um, validate any other psychometric tool. So our psychometrics team, um, interestingly, is made up of not just um, occupational psychologists, but neuroscientists, data scientists, psychometricians, statisticians, um, people that have got maths um, backgrounds. Um, so they're working together as a collaborative unit in order to understand these scoring keys, validate them, so that we um, basically know that what we're claiming to measure is actually what we're measuring, sure. and we're doing that in a reliable way. So that's how a task-based assessment is different, and we, at Arctic Shores, we never give away the secrets of our scoring keys um, to, to anyone. Um, we tell customers and we go through with customers how we build their what we would call like their success profile so what they're actually um, screening or sifting candidates against in terms of what does success look like what does great look like in the job and that's their IP and they can keep that profile and we can tweak it and make changes as, as the data evolves um, but the scoring keys themselves are um, the sort of magic behind what is validated against well known and established constructs that have been around for a long time um, the neuroscience tasks, Arctic Shores haven't just made them up, as you're very yes. well aware. The psychometrics are um, science uh, scientists um, have based this on um, 30 years or more of neuroscience, um, so decades and decades of neuroscience research. So as I mentioned previously, these are well-known neuroscience tasks that have been used in hospital settings, research settings in the past in order to understand how someone's brain is working, what parts of an individual's brain is working when they're making certain, uh, you know, going through certain cognitive processes, mm -hmm. making certain decisions, judgments, um, when they're actually behaving in a different way towards um, different situations and different people. Um, so they're well-known tasks. We have just, uh, with the advancements of technology, brought them to life, um, you know, validated them, and made them work in a setting where you can use a mobile phone, you can use yes. a tablet, you can use a computer to complete them. And we've made them obviously look nicer um, and a lot more candidate-friendly. So that's, you know, the, the sort of high-level science behind um, our assessments. Um, if I bring it to life a little bit more around maybe just an example of one of the tasks, yes. quite a well-known one that everyone is familiar with is um, our security um, code breaker. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the one where the dial um, spins around. What the candidate needs to do is um, interact with this task um, and try and stop the dial moving on a certain number in order to unlock a series um, of sort of codes or locks mm -hmm. um, to unlock the safe. Um, so the dial moves around at varying speeds um, and changes with uh, the way that the candidate interacts um, and they have to, the number that they've got to stop it on changes as well. Um, so they basically have to press a button on their phone or on their um, computer, the space bar, um, in order to stop that spinning dial um, when the number flashes up um, in yes. the correct place. Um, and as I say, it moves at different speeds, it changes and it interacts with them as they're interacting with the task. 
obviously with that type of task, candidates will, um, you know, it's dynamic, it's interesting, it's exciting, it's like a puzzle, so candidates engage with it really well. Um, and then they start to understand, oh, actually, you know, it's changing and yes. actually I need to speed up. So we're measuring lots of different um, aspects that are important for success at work. So um, from that description, hopefully you can see that we're measuring um, sort of core cognition, processing speed, you know, as the dial's moving around, you have to be thinking quite quickly in order to um, interact with it and click on the right place. We're looking at how does someone persevere? So if they get it wrong and it flashes up that that wasn't the right code um, yes. as they've clicked on it, how do they then respond? You know, how long do they take to then get back into the tasks? So we're measuring sort of determination, perseverance, all those um, attributes and um, sort of um, positive success criteria important for success at work um, linked to things like delivering results. Um, so that's that's essentially how um, our tasks work and that's an, uh, an example hopefully brought to life yes. through, through Code Breaker. Yes.